This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. So you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking. See them analyzing that data. Like I tell every day, the data they release us is false. It's meant to give us a false narrative of the market. So we can make bad trading decisions. Listen. The FBI went overseas to extradite somebody who stole $82,000 from people in the United States. Now, I'm not saying that what the person did was correct. Of course, what they did was a crime. Of course, what they did warranted some type of punishment. This individual was in England and was romance scamming elderly people in the United States. She, she allegedly got $82,000 from Americans telling them she's gonna marry them, she loves them, and all kind of other nonsense that they do, that these scammers do. But, but here's my problem with that. My problem isn't the fact that the FBI went and got her. My problem is the fact that look at all the fraud and criminality happening right here on U.S. soil. Look at all the fraud and corruption in AMC, GME, PLTR, MULN. Look at all the dog pool volume. Look at all the FTDs. Look at all the criminality that's going on in the United States right now. And the FBI has no resources to go after these bad actors who are stealing billions and trillions of dollars from U.S. citizens. They don't have no time to do that type of investigation, but they can go to England and get a romance scammer who stole, allegedly stole $82,000. Do you guys think that is a proper use of FBI resources? Don't you think that those resources would have been better spent going after these bad actors who are robbing retail investors and pension funds every day in the stock market? Anyway, leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that, you, that the FBI should have took those same resources and investigated all the fraud and corruption in the stock market and made some arrests right here on U.S. soil? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.